On behalf of Zach and Joanna, on behalf of both of their families, we welcome all of you and thank you for coming for this celebration of the Sacrament of Marriage and the Sacrament of the Eucharist. In a special way, we welcome Bishop Karpinski, who today is with Father Adam. He's come all the way from Poland to celebrate this wedding. Tomorrow will be his 29th anniversary as a bishop, ordained as a bishop. Zach, you better remember this day every year too. That's my advice to you. <laughs> bishop, we are so happy to have you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have seen in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be attentive to your prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these are your servants, Joan and Zacharias, that coming together before the, your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Czytanie z Księgi Tobiasza. Po uroczystościach weselnych Tobiasz rzekł do Sary Wstań, siostro, módlmy się i błagajmy Pana naszego, aby okazał nam miłosierdzie i ocalił nas. I zaczęli tak mówić Bądź uwielbiony, Boże Ojców naszych i niech będzie uwielbione 
imię Twoje na wieki przez wszystkie pokolenia. Niech Cię uwielbiają niebiosa i wszystkie Twoje stworzenia po wszystkie wieki. Ty stworzył Adama i stworzyłeś dla niego pomocną ostoję, Ewę, jego żonę. I z obojga powstał rodzaj ludzki. I Ty rzekłeś, nie jest dobrze być człowiekowi samemu. Uczyńmy mu pomoc, pomocnicę podobną do niego. A teraz, nie dla rozpusty, biorę tę siostrę moją za żonę, ale dla związku prawnego. Okaż mnie i jej miłosierdzie i pozwól razem do, dożyć starości. I powiedzieli kolejno, amen, amen. Oto Słowo Boże. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or clashing cymbal. 
And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I have, if I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I've kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading we heard today was from the book of Tobit, and it tells the story of another very young couple, much like Zach and Joanna. Their names were Tobiah and Sarah. Now, I was going to make you think that I actually understood that first reading, but I didn't. I'm not that smart. I know the English version. And so for those of you who don't speak Polish, the English version is that Tobiah and Sarah, on the night that they are married, decide that they'll kneel down beside their marriage bed and say a prayer. And the prayer is that the Lord will give them a long life. And we might say to ourselves, what a nice thing to do. But the truth is, if you know the rest of the story, for Tobias, it was a matter of life and death. Sarah had been married seven times. Joanna, I really do believe you. You've never been married. But Sarah was married seven times. And every single time that her new husband got into the marriage bed with her, he dropped dead. Zach, you look pretty healthy, you know, and I'm (laughs) praying. And to make matters worse, Sarah's father had already ordered that the grave be dug, so he didn't have a lot of hope for Tobias. And so not only did Tobias want to live a long life, 
He wanted to live to see the next day. It was a matter of life and death for Tobias and Sarah. And in a sense, that's very true for you too, Zach and Joanna. Today, as you stand before us, this is a matter of life and death. You truly love one another. You truly have done everything possible to lay a solid foundation for this marriage. And our prayer for you as you stand before this altar, our prayer for you is that the Lord may also give you a very long life. Jesus doesn't make a good suggestion that you love one another. He doesn't say, I have a great idea that you love one another. He says, I command you. He has to command you because if we love the way that Jesus has loved us, then we're going to pour out our entire lives. That crucifix signifies the love that he had for us. Jesus, the bridegroom, loved us so much, we his bride, that he gave his total life for us. And that's the command he gives to you. Love one another as he has loved you. And St. Paul clearly understood that love is much deeper than emotions. Love is very, very hard work. And you know that already. You know that. I have every confidence in the world, every confidence in the world, that you're capable of entering into this very difficult style of loving. I have every confidence that your strong faith matches your strong love. And that the Lord in this sacrament will grace you the, with the courage to love as he's loved us. One of the great blessings that the Lord has given you is the gift of both sets of your parents. You've seen in their example, you've seen in the way they live the sacrament of marriage, how it's done. Now, they're not perfect. I don't want to canonize either one of you. You're not perfect, but you have kept your promise. You've taught your children well. May the grace of this sacrament be with you as you begin your commitment. May the Lord give you many years together, happy years. And may the Lord grace you with the courage to love as Jesus has loved us. My dear friends, Zach and Joanna, you've come here together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's ministers and this community. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He's already consecrated both of you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Zachary and Joanna, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. yes. Since it's your intention to enter into marriage, face one another with your hands joined and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Zachary, I, Zachary, take you, Joanna, take you, Joanna, to be my wife, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you, I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, I will love you, I will love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Joanna. I, Joanna. Take you, Zachary. Take you, Zachary. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you.
true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, we must not divide. May the Lord bless these rings which you give to each other as the sign of your love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Joanna, take this ring. Joanna, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Zachary, take this ring. Zachary, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, we have heard the word of the Lord, and in response to that word, Zach and Joanna have become one in Christ, and they will remain in the Lord's love with our support. We now bring these needs to the Father, and to each of them, please respond with the words, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and its leaders, May our commitment to the gospel lead us to deepen our faith and trust in God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, open to our prayer. For our world and its leaders, may all people be treated with the dignity they deserve as God's children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, open to our prayer. For our country and those who defend it, may our men and women who serve in the military be kept safe from all harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, lonely, or depressed, may they be strengthened by God's love and aided by friends and family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our guests gathered here with us today, may they enjoy the warm company of family and friends and have safe travel on their journey home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For Joanna and Zach, may they live long, blessed lives together. May their love grow stronger each and every day. And may they build a family rooted in faith and unconditional love. May we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our guests that could not travel here today, may they be blessed with God's love and in our thoughts on this special day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, especially the relatives and friends of Joanna and Zach, and of all present for this wedding, may they enjoy perfect happiness and total fulfillment in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, our Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of your Son, the faithful bridegroom who laid down his life for us, his bride, the church. We praise and thank you for the gift of this new bridegroom, Zach, and his bride, Joanna. Bless them with the courage to love in the same way your son has always loved us, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this sinning of the sacred bond of marriage, and just as your goodness is in its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the just and faithful love of his matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, the, the, their rebirth of, in baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread and life, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Zach and Joanna, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that uh, with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be married to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, in him, with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on these his servants now married in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and make of one heart in love by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood those he has joined by a holy covenant. O God, who by your might, mighty power, created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own likeness, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadow the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Joanna, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May Zach, her husband, entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, but say the word, and my soul will be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of his sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted and so to make of one heart in love whose you have already joined is his holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice through Christ our Lord. In the Gospel of St. John, Jesus slowly, gradually reveals himself through a number of signs. And the first sign is appropriately worked at the wedding of Cana. They ran out of wine. I'm sure the Klinskis won't let that happen tonight. <laughs> and the mother of Jesus trusted her son before he revealed himself. And he did what she said. Zach and Joanna will now ask for Our Lady's intercession for that same faith and trust in their marriage.
somebody thought that with three priests and the bishop, the ceremony will be short one. I'm sorry, made a, <laughs> made a mistake. And if you did not understand my English, don't worry. The American priest told me that story. A lady came to the sacristy and said, Father, I couldn't understand what you were talking about. He said, Mom, you are perfectly all right, because in our faith there are so many mysteries. I don't even understand everything. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to connect my tomorrow, tomorrow's anniversary with the, today's ceremony. Over 55 years ago, I picked up for my holy picture the motto, remain in my love, the same as we have heard in the gospel which was chosen for your ceremony. So to make a short, I wish you to remain in God's love, not only 55 years ago, 55 years, but many, many years more. If the problem comes, they come. Don't discuss, please, who was right or who is right, who is wrong. Take the rosary beads or another prayer and sit down or kneel down and pray together. I remember what Cardinal Kroll of Philadelphia said the American group in Rome after the canonization of blessed Maximilian Kolb. Family who prays together stays together and I wish you to stay together for all your life and I congratulate you and this is my wish and I hope to survive to some anniversary of your wedding. Don't forget to invite. <laughs> anyway, we'll ask the blessings upon you and upon all your families, friends, present here and those who could not come. The Lord be with you. Yes. May the eternal Father keep you in one heart, in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may be dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witness in the word of God's charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness, may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The ceremony is ended. And a small souvenir, this is the family ritual. You will know how to prepare the Easter baskets and the, uh, Christmas vigil. And this is something. With the best wishes, not only for next year, but for many, many years to come. All the best. Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Schertz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.